Good evening, or welcome back. Um, I was trying to do this vlog this time last week and didn't go very successfully. <laughs> so, <laughs> remember I had said in my last vlog I was going to Mark Robinson's pole work clinics at Aiken's Craft. Well, I tried to vlog it, it didn't go very well. So first of all, the clutch went in my car. Uh, turns out it was only clutch fluid I needed, thank goodness, 20 pound later. So I drove mum's car and then on our way there, mum's car went into limp mode. So it turns it on and off like technology is and it started to work again. And then we got there and mum started taking her videos like she does. And then <laughs> we had some technical issues. <laughs> I think I have a clip of it. It's actually quite funny. I've been not recording when I thought I was recording. Yeah, I thought you were Oh, for goodness sake. So yeah. That's what happened. Um, we actually did get a few clips of me riding round, and then my phone storage, like, was at full capacity, couldn't take it anymore. And then we tried to leave, and because we were in Mum's X Trail, the handbrake isn't very good in that, so we put the horse handbrake on, and then we couldn't get it off, so we couldn't leave. So <laughs> then we had to get my friend's husband, Will William. Shout out to William. Um, he had to come and take the handbrake off for us and then we could leave. So yeah, it wasn't overly successful But um, we will do a take two this evening. So this is the final lesson of Mark's uh, pool clinics that we got booked into just in time and yeah, hopefully There's no problems. I actually um ran into the first problem, which was I forgot my L plates so and I forgot my purse. So I went to the shop. Turns out they were only one pound. I had one pound on me. So yeah, I will be driving there today on my L plates and it will be in my car and everything will be fine. So I'm gonna get mucked out and stuff. This could be a really weird vlog. I have loads of little clips. There she is. <laughs> Stopping her face. We're gonna get mucked out and I have the horse box and all loaded up over there. My L plates on. And then we can get going. But here we go. Hello. <laughs> we put this on. How will we do this with one hand, eh? Don't think we really can. I'm gonna have to get a camera that goes on from the head. Ah, oh, yes. Lovely jubbly. So yes, Mum forgot that we were going here this evening. Oh yes, yeah, show up. <laughs> she forgot. This is well, I was here to remind her. But as long as we can get the handbrake off this evening. <laughs> Good girl, Kelly. Side up. Good girl. Saddle, hat, whip. Bridle, gloves, boots. Got to do the double checks. Get in here and put up my new shiny L plate. Because I forgot my other ones. Why is it like when you need to be somewhere for a certain time? You think you have loads of time and then you bloody don't. And then it gets a bit stressful. I don't do stress these days. I'm a lady of leisure when it comes to riding horses. Anyway, we're leaving now. I'll do there. Let's go. You can show everybody uh, Callie's new overreach boots because we think she's overreaching and she keeps catching the back of her heel. So Leo's coming tomorrow to give her to the trim. And yeah, we've got new overreach boots to see if we can prevent this from happening. I'll grab her bridle. Last week when we had her here, she definitely recognised where she was, didn't she? Mm hmm She really did. She was going back home. <laughs> didn't really want to leave. Sure you didn't? But then you were happy when you got home and you seen Oreo in your big field. Huh? Right, I'll put my gloves on and that'll be us.
ready to go. And we probably could do without it a wee break, but sure, we just eat not the sort of, none of them get completely loopy loo when they're left, which is quite nice. So, you know, like the likes of Barney, like the old one I would leave. Like, yeah, Hello, how are you? I'm just taking a few wee videos here.
makes you laugh. taking a grip of like closing your fingers together it made such a big difference it like gave Callie like support I don't want to do like mark bad here like me not explaining it the right way but like it supported her it gave her like more of a contact because you're always being so careful with her because she's so like delicate and oh she's just so she's delicate so you're always like being delicate with her so I like took hold of my reins. I just closed my my fists, and it just made such a big difference. And when you watch the videos, Callie just looks like she's going around like, not like she's looking out towards the outside. But that's how I was riding her. I was using all my outside leg. I was turning her with like the outside rein. I was like hardly using or trying not to use any inside rein or inside leg, and I was riding her looking sort of what I thought was like out the way around the circle getting her to bend out because Callie bends to the inside way too much and like we need her straight and oh my goodness once I had her like looking out a bit and her body was straight the power in her counter was just like woo and then when I came up to the wee poles I was like right I've like got her I can like feel the counter and like when I want to push on and ask for a bigger counter now I can and I can get that and it was just like oh my god it was just mind blowing like two things that are going to make such a big difference I'm so pleased I'm so pleased with how it went oh so yeah that was really really successful and I'm so pleased <laughs> I'm so pleased hello again it is Thursday I am in my stable doing a little bit of mucking out but yeah I am having a really good day today this morning wasn't a great start my phone didn't charge for whatever reason so my alarm never woke me up thankfully Rob had woke me up to be like are you not going to work today and I was like oh. and uh, I got all my work caught up throughout the day and I went and clipped um, a nice cob um, who Originally, um, we had trouble clipping him because he had, you know, some wee scabby bits on his legs, which cobs are very prone to with their hairy feathers and stuff. And um, the second time I clipped him, we actually got him sedated. And today, um, we didn't sedate him at all. Um, like, he's great to clip all over his ears, around his eyes, everything. It's just the bottom um, part of his legs. It's obviously just uncomfortable for him. So 
I just did it like really gently. I put the clippers in the direction the hair was going. Um, I was just so, so gentle. Um, I did like the top of the leg down to the knee, did all of that around all four legs. And then I went down like the bottom part of the leg, did all that the whole way around. And then at the very end, I did like under the fetlocks and just tried to stay in his good books because I didn't want to like push him out of his comfort zone. If it started to get like a wee bit uncomfortable, then I think he would be like, no, we're not doing this. And it was amazing. Um, and yeah, then I'm like, I had to sacrifice myself because it's like warm and I'm wearing waterproofs in the summertime and it was like, I could feel sweat running off me. And uh, so I had to take my, uh, my top uh, waterproof coat off and this white t-shirt is now covered in hair so I'm a little bit itchy um, and then on the way up to the yard um, I got mentioned in someone's story um, Zoe's story and her, there's a little picture of her daughter with her pony Toby taking her little poo sample and it's this the best photo ever like it's just made my day so 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 much um, it's just so wonderful when people share little um, stories and mentions and stuff. It actually makes such a big difference to someone's small business. So I really, really appreciate it so much. But yeah, I'll show you the little picture now. Isn't that just the cutest photo you've ever seen? She nearly looks like a little version of me when I was little. Like anything to do with horses, even if it was poo, anything, dirt. I just loved it as long as it was to do with horses still to this day i suppose that's carried on because you know i'm known as like the poo lady and it's wonderful because it's all horse poo and that's that's fa fabulous you know so yeah anyway better stop chittering i could ch chitter for a lifetime get the stable knocked out i went back to shavings again i don't know if i ever told you but it just wasn't cost effective enough on the wood pellets so i went back to shavings um but yeah, the plan is to um, get mucked out before mum gets here. Maybe get the horses tacked up before mum gets here so when she arrives from work, we can let you just get on and go. But I don't know about the weather. There's a few gray clouds out there. And yeah, I wanna get hacked out so that uh, me and my friend Hannah can go see the Barbie movie. Like, so weird. I never like played with Barbie toys when I was younger. I'm pretty sure I was like that girl that had like briar horses. And if she got given like a Barbie toy as a gift from someone, she would like threw the Barbie away, but kept like the little dog or the cat that came with it. <laughs> so that was me. But anyway, <laughs> and I'm going to go to the cinema and get a bit of a catch up. But yeah, um, just stop chittering. Let's get all this sorted out and get uh, stables done, hay nets, feed, horses in, groomed, tacked up hopefully get out for a hack because I am planning on doing the 20 miles again at the St. Patrick's Coast the endurance ride <laughs> and I just want everything to stay fit, healthy, sound, no problems. We had an overreach problem. Leo was out and cut off like the wee flap skin Ooh, that um, Callie had knocked and pulled off when she overreached but we've got her overreach boots and I'm going to keep it clean. Hopefully she's going to be fine and yeah, I can hopefully get out to do this endurance ride again because it honestly was one of the best things I've ever done, ever done. Me and Callie solo, 20 miles, cross country, cross the beaches. It was the best thing ever. So yeah, I need to get her fit and I need to get myself fit as well if we're going to do that to make it successful. So let's get tacked up and hacking. With his hair bobbled to keep his hair out of his eyes. <laughs> we were saying that maybe our next vlog will be give Oreo makeover day and clip him and pull his mane and all the nice things, take his feathers off. <laughs> that could maybe be the big O day, Mum says. Um, do a vlog with that, maybe. You never know. Watch the space. This is our regular pit stop when Oreo gets his stone stuck in his foot. Mom has to get off. 
and take the stone out with another stone and then she has to tactfully get back on again and today we've went for the six bar gate option Come on! Come on! Yes! <laughs> there you go, the impossible made yes. possible. That <laughs> was the weirdest. We've ever seen in our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wouldn't believe that I was officially a gardener until I seen an actual vegetable. Well, wait till you see this here. Look at the size of that. <gasps> Have you ever seen courgette so big in your whole life? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, look at it compared to my hand. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> so I'm just at home at the moment having a little look through my fecal egg counts that I got delivered to me yesterday. I got like seven parcels through the door so it's Saturday morning and it's keeping me very very busy so um, I'm just having a look at the sample now and I thought I would show you what it looks like to look through the microscope so I have just seen one red worm egg. Peggy has just decided to come in and join us because she could hear me talking all right you okay? Um, so yeah I'll let you have a little look through the microscope so you can see for yourselves. So So, oh, this is hard to do. So right in the middle there, that's one red worm egg. So this horse has, this is the only egg I've seen. So it's 50 eggs per gram. So this horse has a low count and will not need to be wormed. So this is saving anthelmintic, saving wormers. Um, and yeah, I just really love doing this. It's not just looking through horse poo, it's just really improving horses' health and their welfare. And yeah, I just I just think it's great. So uh thank you so much for watching this vlog. Um if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um if you could follow me on my other social media platforms, that will really, really help me out. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye! Hello, is that Gardener's World? Yes, I just grew the biggest courgette ever.